Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's Deep. Let's react to this vid by Fantastic Hip Hop is titled How J. Cole Just Officially Confirmed He Hates Drake. You know what? I'm not surprised. Cole has been doing some little sneaky stuff lately. <laughs> He's been collabing with Drake's ops, like, left and right. So, it's like, um, if you don't like him, if, if you got something to say, then you speak up. Drop this album and take some shots. <laughs> That, that, that's what you need to do. Not doing this, all this little sneaky stuff. You feel me? So that's just my take on it. And I fuck with Cole, but yeah, that's how I feel. But anyway, well, let's hear what, what's going on with him. Let's watch. Now, when it comes to Drake and J. Cole, well, there was once so much noise and chaos within the hip hop world that nobody even had a moment to stop and look at where the two rappers who started this all may stand. Now, as things have been settling down, and we are in a time in the genre where every rapper and figure involved within and around this conflict are picking up the pieces from it. We have been starting to really see where these two stand, and if you have been paying attention recently, it's no surprise that things between Cole and Drake have gotten really bad, as they have taken two completely different routes with their careers since Kendrick Lamar challenged them to fight for the title of the best rapper alive. And now, although J. Cole definitely got the better end of this compared to Drake, simply because he backed out as opposed to Drake, who put up a performance so bad that he has been the laughing stock of rap for months. This doesn't mean Cole is not without a share of issues right now, because first off, for a lot of hip hop heads, despite Cole not embarrassing himself anywhere near as bad as Drake ultimately ended up doing, Cole still has a lot to overcome, not in terms of anybody questioning his skill as an MC, because we all know he can spit, but just when it pertains to pushing his legacy past any controversy or asterisks that came along with him backing down from Kendrick Lamar. And while Cole really is still yet to put a true dent into this goal, and I'd imagine we will have to wait until the fall off or any new project from him to really enter a point where narratives begin to shift for him around the entire world of not just hip hop, but music. Regardless of the bigger and one of the most important moments that Cole will have to face, when it comes to this tension that has been rumbling between him and Drake, more has happened in this tumultuous relationship, which started out as one of the strongest friendships in hip hop just about a year ago and now has ended in what? absolute ruin. Because as Cole decided to drop a feature a on a new word. song from Daylight called A Plate of Collard Greens, oh. he has stirred things up. But now before we can even look at anything oh, else, this song, which is now the second team up between Cole and Daylight, as the first was Pie on Mike Delete Later, yeah, which also I didn't even know about Asshole, this. is another one of the better tracks hip hop has seen all year. So, he, this is the third time. <laughs> this is the third time. He he teamed up on a Future's album, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, he didn't take any direct shots himself at at uh, Drake, but the fact that you linking with the ops is that just speaks volume. So he got on uh, on Future's album, okay, and then he did that song with, with ASAP Rocky, and now you're doing a song with Daylight. Just just diss him yourself already, because this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> It's ridiculous. It's the best if we break down the technical lyrical ability. Because I gotta hear this. Addition to Daylight, who delivers a nuanced and complex performance, J. Cole spits what I think is without a doubt his best verse since everything that went down oh. between him, Kendrick Lamar, and Drake. As oh. each bar he spits is layered to the max and filled with wordplay that will just have you sitting there enamored if you appreciate the art of lyricism at its finest. And now, specifically with this verse, and what really seemed to push the conversation oh, forward about Drake oh, and Cole's own like tension with one another were the series of bars Cole delivered, which made references to Michael Jackson in so many different clever ways as Cole carefully pieced together a lyrical canvas with so much lore and history about MJ to make one of the best written series of lines that I have seen all year. And now, as Cole leans so heavily into referencing MJ on this track, and on top of this, the fact that he is boasting through these bars and hyping up his own stature, which is something we really have not seen in a while, and then ultimately knowing the context of what started all of this drama off in the first place, which of course goes all the way back to first person shooter and when Drake was comparing himself to MJ on the second half of that track, which ultimately was then followed up with Kendrick throwing this right within his face as they kicked off their battle. Putting all of this together, people were speculating that this may have been a Drake diss from Cole, and while for some rappers doing something like this could have very well been trying to poke at Drake, Based on the way Cole raps, handles beef as we have seen, and even has thrown out subliminals to other rappers in the past, I don't think this was intended to knock Drake one bit, but even with this set, this does not mean that the song hasn't told us anything about the Cole and Drake saga, because as Daylight, who is a rapper who was both signed to Kendrick Lamar's former label and still close collaborators, Top Dog Entertainment, and even on top of this, 
has been someone who has been very vocal when it comes to bashing someone like Drake mm. online over and over again for months. Exactly. By co-linking up with somebody from Drake's biggest rival's former label and biggest All backers in his feet. This is escalating things and really saying a lot about this entire situation. Yeah. Because first off, for TDE at this point, based on where they are at as a collective and label and hip-hop... A Kendrick and Cole collab around this time would be so epic. <laughs> Oh, that would be epic. Please do it, please. Powerhouse. They would not be putting out songs with anyone who has beef Kendrick Lamar, as that would just be going against every single sentiment they stood on to help Kendrick project the message of a track such as Not Like Us for the entire world to see, in order for it to make such a large impact. And now beyond this, if this moment was an isolated event, it would not be enough evidence to see that Cole absolutely no, despises pattern. Drake at this point. But when we look at this in the context of everything else, what we are seeing now, and to the highest degree we have yet, is that J. Cole's new pattern is to seemingly link up and embrace people who Drake has a problem with so exactly. easily as ever since his apology. When we stack everything up from Future and Metro Boomin on We Still I can't say I respect that though. Letter, which we remember how shocking of a moment that was. To then Ruby Rosary with ASAP Rocky, who has a very serious beef with Drake. And even on top of Rocky, this song was produced by The Alchemist, who obviously made the beef for Kendrick Lamar's Meet the Grams. And while some producers have oh, not no. fully taken sides in this beef, as Uncle Al has played this instrumental at almost every one of his live shows this summer, I think this speaks volumes about where he stands. And adding to this, just looking at all the facts, the only other features Cole has done since this genre-altering time in rap is has been his Tens, who also had a oh. fallout with Drake, and then with all of this. I didn't know if that. If we put things together and look at the fact that since this- Wait, since what? What was this? What did I miss? Please fill me in, y'all. Drake had beef with Tams? This nigga has issues with everybody. Drake also made what? fun of Cole multiple times on his own diss tracks for backing out of the beef and not standing on his own words. With Cole appearing on one of the biggest oh, albums that escalated the beef, did a song with somebody who was in one of the most intense and personal beefs with Drake of them mm -hmm. all, the guy who produced a song that set things yeah, in motion for Drake to just get absolutely destroyed, and also a singer who's been very vocal about their issues with Drake, and then on top of this, a guy from Top I'm Dog Entertainment who is directly connected with Kendrick Lamar. I mean, when we stack all of this up, aside from working with Cash Cobain on the absolute career lowlight of Grippy, every artist J. Cole has been standing with seems to despise Drake, and based on where we are at in hip-hop during this moment in time, more than ever, there is way too much evidence to see that J. Cole has definitely received the jabs that Drake was throwing on his name during tracks like Push-Ups and Family Matter in an attempt to try and deflect the spotlight and pressure off of him during the biggest rap beef arguably ever. Got like and seemingly because of this, man. while Cole again has shown that he is not the guy who will make this an all-out lyrical duel because that just isn't the way he moves whether we like it or not. Still, from everything he has put out in his music over the years and from the person he has shown us he is, Cole is also not the type of guy to just let him get disrespected by anybody over and over again as Cole has had to clear many of these features and seems to have no problem with all of these tracks coming out and letting the moments he is giving us stand by themselves and send whatever messages that may come alongside with them. With one of the craziest feature runs with Drake's enemies ever, he has confirmed to the highest extent that we can see without him releasing new solo music that if Drake wants to sneak diss him and make fun of him on social media, J. Cole is only going to hide oh, yeah, the fresh run in, in this okay. faint yet tactical way of linking up with his enemies to make Oh, yeah, you got to also keep that in mind. When Drake dropped that uh, that Instagram post, dropped that Instagram, <laughs> you know, when he made that Instagram post um, on his Finsta, um, which everybody knows is linked to him, um, he's like, oh, yeah, I remember that time when... Uh, Jay Z ignored J, uh, J. Cole's call or something like that, some corny shit. So it's clear that Drake feels some type of way about how J. Cole is moving. And J. Cole is deliberately moving this way. Like it doesn't take a rocket scientist to conclude <laughs> that he, he's not fucking with, with, with uh, Drake at all. Look all the more alone and isolated. And beyond this, now with a new Daylight collab, what this is telling us at the very least is that the relations between Cole and TDE are now good, as they would not stamp their brand on anything that even hints at being anti-Kendrick Lamar. Mm -hmm. Which then of course means that it's yes. looking like Cole and Kendrick Lamar as a whole seem to be on good terms, or just have some sort of strong and unbreakable respect for one another. 
which would explain why they have not engaged further in this beef, and even why Kendrick Lamar seemed to allude to Drake having problems already on a track like Not Like Us, which we didn't really seem to notice because so much was going on back then. So overall, as no, J. Not... Cole is now defining this chapter of his career right now by going on a feature run with all of Drake's opponents, and after having his legitimacy as an MC and integrity as a man being made fun of by it, Cole is letting us know once and for all that he is done with Drake, and because of the way he threw him out and mocked his choice for backing out of the beat. While Cole and Drake may have seemed to be best friends as they did a joint tour and released multiple collabs yeah. together in 2023, now that this is all said and done and Drake has really shown who he really is, Cole wants nothing to do with him. So now with all this said, let me know. What do you think of this entire situation? Oh yeah, they did do that tour together and was hugging and kissing on stage. <laughs> As Kendrick stated, uh, yeah, clearly, clearly Cole feels some type of way about Drake and he's being very passive aggressive, which I can't say I personally respect. I'll be honest. It's like, if you want to diss this man, then come out and diss this man. Drop your album or drop your songs where you're taking your shots at, at, uh, at Drake. I don't feel like you should keep trying to align yourself with all his ops. Like, look, look, I'm being buddy, buddy with people who don't like you. Look, 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 I'm with them. Look, look, like, I just feel like that's lame. So... You know, it sucks to say, because I do, I love Cole. <laughs> I really do. And, um, you know, I did respect his decision to not engage in the beef, you know. But it's like, all right, at this point, now you're kind of antagonizing uh, Drake and trying to, like, let it be known that you don't fuck with him by aligning with these people. Because doing a song with Daylight, like, I feel like that's kind of random. Um, so, yeah. Just, just come out with your own shit. Like, this is kind of goofy, in my opinion. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!